What's up, squad? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. It's your boy Trey, aka Daddy C. And just dropping in today, I wanted to just talk on, have a quick rant about a, a topic that's really been bugging me. I keep seeing it resurface really kind of lately, I mean, over the last year or so. Um, and that topic is about sneakerheads and, you know, reach a certain age. Are you too old to wear sneakers, to wear Jordans, to wear hype stuff, whatever? And I just want to talk on that. So if you don't know me, I'm, you know, been in the sneaker game since I was a kid. I'm upper 40s, right? Pushing 50, pushing the big 5-0. And I will tell you this, for people like myself, Jumpman Bostic, this article just came out or it was an interview he did with Complex Sneakers. You know, the man said he's over 60 and still has new kicks, fresh kicks. Um, that's what he's been doing. If you don't know Jumpman Bostic, look him up. He's a pioneer in the sneaker space, sneaker culture. Um, YouTube and his collecting and all of that has been going on for years. I think he's got over well over two, 300 pairs of shoes. Um, but his take is the same as my take, right? We grew up, I grew up seeing the Jordan 1 release from one, from number one, before there was a Michael Jordan in the NBA. I remember watching Michael Jordan at University of North Carolina. Now granted, I was like eight, nine years old, but Michael Jordan was the big hype. He was a new thing. I'm in Maryland, so it was around the same time when Lynn Bias was playing, and he was like the, the other Jordan kind of player in that era. And these guys were great basketball players, um, always liked college basketball and the NBA. And um, seeing Michael Jordan get drafted, the Bulls, when he first played his first season. So all of that, right? Witnessed that, grew up through that whole era, the 80s, the 90s, um, as Jordan releases were coming out, as he was playing the night before and they came out the next day or whatever. Um, that's what we grew up in, that's what we experienced. So that's all we know, right? I remember when Run DMC got their Shelto Adidas contract. I mean, they were wearing the Shelto Adidas with no shoestrings for years. And then they got their own special Adidas with the big Adidas logo, it had the Velcro straps on the tongue. My uncle got those, he had the leather jacket that Jam Master J wore on the back of the Tougher Than Leather album. Like that is the culture and that is what that experience was like coming up through those years. And then for us, as that's all we've known, all we've done, we created this culture, right? We were the cog in the machine and buying sneakers on drop day, going to the neighborhood sneaker store before it was all these big box stores and online drops and resellers and all that kind of stuff, right? Going, I remember in Baltimore, going to Shoe City, going to um, Charlie Rudo, going to all of these stores. If you're from this area, you know those names. And, you know, downtown locker room when it was brand new. Um, going to those stores, getting the newest release, being able to walk in the store, try on a shoe, all that, that era. So that's what we grew up in, that's all we know. And I really feel like for the new generation, new era of sneaker head, which I feel is the silliest silly term, like the person that enjoys sneakers, right? Anyway, this young, new era, trying to tell people like myself, you're too old to wear this, or, you know, whatever. Like, shut your mouth and respect your elders because without us, there's no you and no sneaker culture to appreciate. Now, this hype culture, everybody is hype, 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 and resell price and resell price. That's whatever, that's you, do your thing, that's not me. And typically, that's not most of the OG sneaker heads. Like, we, of course, hype is, you know, it intensifies, like, the, the, the you know, anticipation of a shoe, but we're not just chasing, all of us not just chasing that because it's the new hype thing, or because there's so much value associated with the shoe, we chase it because we like it or because we love it or it's a nostalgia from back in the day, right? Like the Dion 96s. I remember having those back in 96. Now, it wasn't a must cop for me just because there's so much dropping right now and I feel like I can still get those in another month or so. Um, but shoes like that, y'all chasing it because you think there's a dollar attached to it. We're chasing it or we want it because of that actual tie, right? And seeing all of that coming through that era, that's all we know. And just like John Man Bostic said, you know, I'm be rocking, I'm be rocking sneakers in my casket, right? When I'm 60, 70, 80, whatever, that's what I know. I'm not gonna get to a certain age where now I only wear Rockport walking shoes with the Velcro straps, right? That you see maybe on the mall walkers right now or something like that. And that's no knock to the older folks, man. I mean, that's that's a different era generation, but it just it just cracks me up. And it's one of those these topics that I'm just tired of hearing tired of hearing it these new generation people trying to make rules for people how to wear your sneakers wear these sneakers don't wear these sneakers don't pay resell pay resell and you got the whole real and fake and it's like a myriad of topics 
Like, let's just all enjoy sneakers. You got your money in your pocket. I got my money in my pocket. You do what you want to do with yours. I do what I want to do with mine. Jay-Z said it best. He said, what you eat don't make me bleep. Right? Look that up. Do you, and I'm going to do me. That's all I want to say. Everybody can enjoy sneakers as a whole. It'll be a lot better for everybody. All right, I'll see y'all on the next one. We got a lot more coming. Sneak reviews. We got some great things in the works. Um, <laughs> I'll see y'all on the next one. Make sure you follow us up here on your way out. Hit me up on IG at Real Daddy C. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.